Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. And today we're going to talk about some of the basic best practices for handling fiber optic assemblies. So let's start off with talking about the basic construction types. Here you have a jumper or a patch cable. It's going to have a connector on each end and it's going to be two fibers. You have a short one like this, one meter or three feet, and they can also go much longer. Typically, you don't want to go over 10 meters with something like this. When you do, you would move to what we call a trunk, multi-fiber assembly. You can carry a lot of fibers in this one little piece. Whatever your overall construction type, underneath those jackets, you're going to have this. Now, this isn't a bare fiber. This has a 250 micron coating on there, but underneath that is the fiber. It's very, very small and very, very delicate. That's why you have so much jacketing on the, around it. There's Kevlar in this, and then there's the outside jacket, which help protects it. This actually has a pretty good strength if you're pulling on it, not that you want to try it, but it's really, it's when you bend it to excess, eventually it'll snap. And a lot of times, especially older fiber, it gets very brittle and it snaps very easily. Don't unpackage until you're gonna use them. Store them in approved area. You don't want them sitting around, laying around the floor. People can step on them, crush them, or just pick them up and play with them. You don't want that. Leave them in an approved area only. If you don't have an approved area, make one. You could use a cabinet, you could use bins. You want it out of harm's way. Also, if there are instructions, take a read, follow them. They're there for a reason. When you do open them, only take off these protective end caps when you're about to plug it in. Otherwise, when you do, you have the end face exposed. If you just touch it, you're gonna have end face contamination. Be sure to see Cable Talk episode 23 where I go in depth on end face contamination. It's a very serious issue. If it does get contaminated, you need to follow best practice and clean them. Again, see Cable Talk number 23. Now come on with me, we're gonna do some installation best practices. The first off is you never wanna bend a fiber cable in excess. As you remember, that fiber cable underneath is very delicate that way. So, you know, a cable hanging like this and if weight, gravity pull on it, it's gonna bend. You certainly don't wanna route it tightly around something like this, that can cause a lot of problems. You want everything to be smooth bends. That'll really help you. Also, never use these. This is fiber's enemy, it's a zip tie. This creates a pinch point on the fiber. If you start to tighten it up, and it's very easy, somebody could even just tighten it up more and more and more and more, pinching your fiber, causing insertion loss, could crack the fiber, and that could lead to downtime. Nobody wants that. The best practice is to use Velcro. It comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes. This is double-sided, it sticks together, you can cut it to different length, it works great, and it doesn't pinch the fiber and it doesn't bend it in excess. Now that you have those basics, you just need to use your common sense. Like don't route cable in an area where it could get damaged, it could get trampled, or it could get snagged and pulled. Also, every single fiber is important, so take care when installing it and keep it out of harm's way. Also, take pride in your work. It helps and it will make a difference. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us on www.cableexpress.com. Respect Layer 1.